y'all welcome back welcome back so we're in, we're inside the car get ready to get into dollar general so we can get into our five out of 25 scenario video or i mean my haul video where i'm going to show you what i personally need so definitely check out my scenario video where i have over 20 plus all digital scenarios that you can do for today only where we're going to be taking advantage of that five up with 25 coupon so let's head inside of the store so we can maximize our savings don't forget to like and subscribe all right y'all so i do plan on doing probably two game scenarios we'll see but i do like i always say sometimes i do sell things from my stock pile from time to time so one of the person that i sell to actually likes these game plugs so i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab two of the three count they're 13.50 y'all each and we got a six off of two digital coupon so that's gonna put me at about 27 dollars. but i have a 30 spend 30 get seven uh spend 30 on game get seven dollars off so i'm about three dollars short so what i'm gonna do next or what i already did is came down here and grab one of these Febreze Air Effect sprays at $3.25. And then I have that $2.30 digital coupon. So that's gonna put me at $30. So that way I can use that seven off of $30 general digital. And this particular store is not updated. So I should also be able to stack that five off of 25 as well. So let me show you how my scenario is gonna go. All right, y'all, so for this first scenario, or I don't know if I'll do it first or second, but for this game scenario, I picked up two of the three count game scented Febreze plugs at $13.50 each. I'm gonna use that six off of two digital. And then I picked up the Febreze Air Effect Spray at $3.25, and I'm gonna use that $2.30 digital. So this is gonna bring me to $30.25. So don't forget to clip the five off of 25 coupon and then the seven off of 30 gain digital. So my store, like I said, isn't updated. So both of those should stack together. Now, if your store is updated, normally how I know is like if your store has like a self checkout. So if your store is updated, then they won't stack together. Um, but after all of my coupons come off, the five off of 25, seven off of 30, and then all these digital coupons that I mentioned, at the register, y'all, I should pay just $9.95. Not bad considering, like I said, I'm going to be reselling these anyway. And these are $13.50 each alone. And then on this particular account that I'm using, because I know some of you all were saying test out like the PG7, seven, spend seven, um, I mean, spend 30, get seven. I actually have that also on this account. So we're going to see if I get like, a digital coupon for like seven dollars off my next purchase so we're going to see how this all is going to play out so stay tuned all right y'all so i'm going to go ahead and pick up one of these wet jet gains they're 675 and we have a two dollar digital now the cheaper route to go if your store has like the swiffer dusters which are like 550 or like the wet cloths which are 550 you can use the two dollar digital um, but it get really, like I always say, cater it to your need, because if you know you need this product, then you might want to grab that. But I'm going to use a $2 digital coupon. All right, y'all. Next, um, just to show you some different options in case you're a little bit short, you could add in the Mr. Clean Gain at $4. Use the 50 cent digital. Um, another Mr. Clean option. These are like $6 though. But again, always cater it to you. All right, y'all. Now I was hoping this store had like the Gain Dish Liquid at $2.70. Um, because I could have came out about 30 cents cheaper, but no biggie, um, because I'm not using a coupon for it anyway, but I'm like going to be about $3 short for my next game scenario. So I was going to add that in, well, roughly about $2 and some change short. So I was just going to add this in, but no biggie. You could add in like three of the $1 dish soaps. You can add in like a $3 dryer sheet. Maybe a $2 dryer sheet and a dollar dish soap. So like I always say, y'all cater the deal to your needs. And then y'all, for my next game scenario, I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of the game liquids up here at $5.50. And then we have a dollar digital. But like I always say, if you haven't seen my scenario video, check it out. Because I have tons of different scenarios. Because we even have $3 digitals for the big thing of game liquid. Or you can get the flings. Or you can even get like the big thing of firework beads. But I don't think I'm going to use that coupon but instead we have a two dollar digital that works for like the game products at 750 whether you get the liquid detergent uh whether you get the flings or whether you come down here grab the fabric softener right here or like the dryer sheets and then these are the big firework beads i was referring to at 15.95 you may want to use that three dollar digital 
and then we have a separate dollar digital that works for the game product at 450. Um, so you could get like the um, firework beads, use the dollar digital, and then that two dollar digital that works for the 750 products also works for the bigger firework beads. But that dollar digital works for these at 450. The dryer sheets, you can get the game flings. So several ways you can do your deal. You can even get the game fabric softener. My store doesn't have it. So always cater it to your need. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab, cause I know someone in my stockpile wants some game firework beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these firework beads at 450, use the dollar digital. But if you know you need to get stocked up on laundry care, then you actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna actually get these at Family Dollar. So, say, so stay tuned if you're in the Family Dollar because I got a $2.25 digital off. So yeah, I'm gonna, probably just get some game flings and then uh yeah i'm trying to see if i want to get the fabric softener or a liquid detergent we're gonna see i'm just gonna grab one for now but i'm gonna show you how i'm planning on doing my second game deal and i wanted to grab like a two dollar game dryer sheet and then like a dollar just soap but since this store is out i'm just gonna grab the um three dollar dryer sheet to help me get over that threshold limit of 30. And then y'all stay tuned because I do plan on doing a um, a third transaction, like a food deal, because I really want to get stocked up on some of these six uh, pack Coca-Cola products. Again, check out my scenario video if you haven't checked that out. But they're three for 10 this week, y'all. And then we got a one off of two digital. So they're normally like 525. And then I also wanted to mention, too, if you're one that maybe prefers like the Pepsi products, then those are three for nine. So it's kind of like the same thing, but we have to use a dollar digital for the Coke products to make it three for nine versus the Pepsi, um, actually not the Pepsi, the Dr. Pepper 7-Up Canada Drive. They're three for nine. And then if you still have that two off of 10 Dr. Pepper digital, you could just add in like maybe a two liter or something for like $2 and some change to get you over that $10 threshold and save $2. So always cater it to your need but another great option and then it looks like the pepsi and mountain dew are three for ten so it just depends on your need because if you know you prefer pepsi over coke for a dollar more you could just keep the do the pepsi uh products or like the mountain dew so several different options i know we have like two dollar digitals for like the 12 count so again cater it to your need if you're going to pay for these items in anyway just make sure you're scanning them on your Dollar General app so you can confirm the price and so you can also confirm if any coupons are attaching. But I think I'm going to do the Pepsi products and grab one of the Minute Maids and then two of the Cokes. And again, that should be three for 10. And I wanted to mention, I said it in my uh, five for 25 scenario video, but also in my any day deals video, I factored in four of the drinks and it's only supposed to be three. So just be careful with that. It's three for 10, but I think I was factoring in four. So just make sure if you're looking at those videos, you're only factoring in three. Now I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna actually keep this product or not, but this is also a great filler item. The Splenda right here at $3. You might still have your like $2 digital. So you grab like this one or this one. Now, if your store carries the one in like the bag, they're normally like $2.75. So you could come out a little bit cheaper. And then I haven't checked the Abata app, but I know in the past we did get like a dollar cashback offer. So if we still have any offers for that, then this could definitely make this even cheaper. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these Airwick uh warmers at 225 i still have that dollar 75 cent digital and i'm just picking it up as like a filler item to help me get to that 25 dollar threshold i may or may not need it but i'm gonna grab it just in case and i know some of you all i don't remember if it was dollar general or family dollar but y'all let me know down below but i know some of y'all was saying like the buy one get one free airwick digital but like the twin packs was not attaching so y'all let me know if it's attaching for you this week um, but that would definitely be a great option, too, if that's something that you're going to pay for anyway. Oh, wow, y'all. I didn't realize that this store had the Dollar Crest Scope. So this is also a great filler item. They're a dollar, and then we have that Dollar Digital that's attaching. So this could be an amazing freebie or a great filler item. All right, y'all. Another great filler item that I may or may not factor. We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this Nivea Lotion, the one in the dark blue. It's $5. And on this particular account I'm using, I have a $3 Digital. Now, the other ones are like $5.25, so again, cater it to your need, but let's go ahead and grab this, get it added to our cart. 
All right, y'all. So for my next game scenario, remember though, once you use your digital coupons, they're gone. So of course you would need more than one account. So maybe you have a sibling or a spouse or a friend or a kid. So just keep that in mind. So I'm using this on the, I'm doing this on another account, but I picked up the Febreze Air Effect Spray at three twenty-five. I'm gonna use the two dollar and thirty cent digital. I picked up one of the game products at seven fifty. Cater it to your need. I needed the fabric softener. And I'm gonna use a two dollar digital. I picked up the game liquid at five fifty. I'm gonna use a dollar digital. I picked up the Swiffer Wet Jet Gain Scent at six seventy five. I'm gonna use a two dollar digital. I picked up the game flings at four fifty. Or remember, you can grab any of the other game products at four fifty. And I'm gonna use a dollar digital. And then I added in three dollars worth of game products. So I just added in the three dollar dryer sheet. So this is gonna total me thirty dollars and fifty cents. So after that five up of twenty five digital comes off. Then my 7 up of 30 game digital comes off and stacks together with the 5 up of 25. And all those other digitals that I mentioned come off. At the register, y'all, I should pay just $10.20 before tax. Which is amazing considering the big thing of game fabric softener is $7.50 alone. And remember, there's several ways you can do your deal. Even when it comes to the $2 Swiffer. Remember the Swiffer wet, I mean the Swiffer duster, they're like $5.50. You could get that. Or again, if you didn't want the flings, you could grab some of the other products. Or if you didn't want the fabric softener. And then as well as well with the $3 game product. Like I said, if you could you could factor in the dish soap at two seventy, but my store is out. You could come out about three cents cheaper. I mean, thirty cents cheaper. So several ways you can do your deal. All right, y'all. This is why it's definitely important to always scan your items. I'm doing my last little final scan, and that six dollar off of two is not attaching to these. So I'm definitely probably not gonna do this transaction because yeah, it's not coming off, and I don't want any issues at the register. So I may see if they have another scent because it looks like it's um, maybe attaching to like the one that's like green, the game. Um, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. Y'all let me know if y'all had any issues with this or if it still came off. But if you scan it and it's not attaching, nine out of 10, it probably won't attach at the register. All right, y'all went ahead and checked out doing the game deal. I want to show you the receipt. So there's the Swiffer at $6.75. The $2 digital came off. You see digital coupon. There's the uh, game like dryer sheets that I added in for three dollars to help me get over the thirty dollar mark. There's the game flings at four fifty. The dollar digital came off. There's the game oh liquid detergent at five fifty. The dollar digital came off. There's a Febreze Air Effect spray at three twenty five. The two dollar and thirty cent digital came off. There is the gain um, fabric softener at seven fifty, and the two dollar digital came off. And then, like I always say, when you see those store discounts, Dollar General coupons come off as store discounts. So one is for the seven off of thirty, and then the other is for the five off of twenty five, which is why you see two store discounts. And my total was ten twenty, y'all, before tax, like I planned. Now I checked my account. I still see that spend 30 get 7 on PG products listed on there. So I don't know if maybe it'll go away or maybe your threshold has to be at 30 before coupons. I mean, after all coupons come off, but it's still on my account. Um, it might just not stack with the 7 off of 30 game or I don't know, but it didn't. It's still on my account. I don't see where I have like a $7 off my next purchase, but I don't know if maybe it just takes a couple um, seconds or um, I did like get out of the app i didn't like log out and log back in i just got out cleared it and then clicked the app again so we'll see i'll keep y'all posted but i did get a five of a 25 paper that i can use for next week so now to do this last and final deal with the food i'm still trying to figure out how i want to do it but let's figure this out all right y'all so this is how i plan on doing my second transaction with the food so i needed something to get me over 25 dollars. i was at like i'm gonna be at like 24.50 so you could just add in something for 50 cents but i just picked up those um marshmallows at a dollar because i recently got a whole bunch of like rice krispie treat i mean rice krispie so i was like you know what that'll be a good uh time to maybe make some rice krispie treats so i picked that up for a dollar but you could grab anything for a dollar then I picked up three of the Coca-Cola pro uh, products. Remember, they're three for 10, and that's for the six-pack. So you could get Sprite, you could get Fanta, you could get Minute Maid. So I got two Cokes and a Minute Maid. And then we also have a one-off of three digital. I picked up the Febreze at three I'm going to use that $2.30 digital. I picked up the Nivea lotion at $5. I'm going to use that $3 digital. I picked up the Airwig warmer at $2.25. I'm going to use $1.75 digital. 
And then I picked up the Splenda at $3. I'm going to use a $2 digital. And then I picked up the Dollar Crest Scope. I'm going to use that Dollar Digital. So everything right here should total me $25.50. And then after all of my digital coupons come off, so the 5 off of 25 coupon along with all these other coupons. Remember, if you want to use the paper version, you can. I normally like to have the cashier scan everything, hand in the paper coupon, and then type in my phone number. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but that's just how I like to do it. But I do like to just keep things all digital. But I did just want to mention that in case maybe you have a paper coupon. But after all of the coupons come off at the register, y'all, I should end up paying $9.45, y'all, before tax. So an amazing deal considering what all I'm getting. So let's head to the register and let's check out. All right, y'all, I went ahead and checked out doing my last and final transaction. And I want to go ahead and show y'all the receipt. So there is the, like, six-pack of Minute Maid at... Well, it's normally five twenty-five, but remember when you buy three, they're three for ten. And then there's the two cokes, the six pack cokes, and they did ring up for three for ten. That's why you see like those store discounts. And then my dollar digital did come off. Wait, did it? I think it came off because remember that dollar digital. I think is a store coupon. We'll see. Um, and then. There's a dollar marshmallow I added in just to get me over 25. There's the Nivea lotion at five dollars. The three dollar digital came off. There's the Febreze Air Effect spray at 325. The two dollar thirty cent digital came off. There's the Airwick warmer at 225. The dollar seventy five cent digital came off. There's the dollar Crest scope at a dollar. The dollar digital came off. There's the Splenda at three dollars, and then my two dollar digital came off. So everything worked out perfectly because my total was $9.45 like I planned before tax. Um, I think that one off of three digital for like the Coca-Cola products is a store coupon, which is why you see three store discounts underneath it. Because remember, any coupon that's a store coupon or a Dollar General coupon is going to come off um, as a store discount. So the 5 off of 25 is going to come off as a store discount. And if you add like all those store discounts up, you should get $5.00. And then if an item has more than one store discount, it may be because of a promotion. So like with the Coca-Cola in the, um, the Coca-Cola products, that was like a store promotion. So you see another store discount. And then that one off of three, I believe, was also a store discount. I mean, coupon. Because like I said, my total was $9.45 like I planned before tax for all of these items, y'all. So I did two transactions. This one was $9.45. This one was $10.20 definitely can't complain and remember with that for breeze plug be careful with that because that six dollar digital was not attaching to like the blue pack but thanks to all the support y'all don't forget to like and subscribe now i'm on the way to family dollar so definitely stay tuned for that so don't forget to like the video and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time bye bye